if you are in a small town, you generally have much, much fewer uh, homicides, these kind of big crimes than you would like if you are in a big city. So when we wrote the paper, we actually tried to build with this tool in which you could say like, here's how many of these different types of um, crimes that we generally have per year. Here's the cost of our people. Here's the cost of 3D scanning equipment. And then it would generate these graphs, these probabilistic graphs to say, well, you know, here's your best case of when this technology would pay for itself. Here's this worst case. Here's what we would assume the case would be. Now, since we wrote that paper, I will say 3D scanning technology has in some ways gotten much more affordable. So one of the things my group got very excited about was in 2020, 2021, Apple started throwing LiDAR sensors on their phones. So they have these really accurate 3D sensors on the phones. Apple still hasn't really done anything very interesting with it. I don't know why they, they're right now only on the higher end phones, but they're still there. Um, but again, Apple, I, I, I'm hoping that someday that they'll, they'll do something cool with it. 